Hello Collective and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody I know I'm late with my readings today. I've got so much going on today. Oh my gosh. Um, it's just one of those crazy days you know. Anyway this reading is for the collective so it may not resonate with all of you. Just take what resonates. Leave the rest. Don't try to force it right. And thank you so much, everyone, for real. Thank you so much for being patient with me today, okay? Because <laughs> I do have so much going on. Um, and thank you for being my soul tribe out here. You guys are so good to me every single day. Thank you so, so much for all of your support. I truly do mean that. All right, Divine, what do you have for my beautiful collective today? It's a gorgeous day. I hope you guys are enjoying your week. Um, yeah, and it looks like you are enjoying your week. Okay, so, um, yeah, yeah this person, uh, there's going to be somebody coming towards you here with an apology, okay? It, 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 it may not even be an apology. This could just be somebody fake, immature. Um, you're going to be out and about. I, I feel like, um, I, I get the sense that you're going to be outside. I don't know why I feel that way. Um, looking beautiful, okay? Um, stunningly gorgeous, very vibrant, very balanced. You're just you're just having a good time and all of it. And this could even be at a beach um, or something like that. And somebody comes and approaches you here, but they've got other options, okay? Um, I feel like this is, I kind of, I don't know. I don't know. This could be someone from your past or this could just be someone new. Yeah, I, maybe it is someone from your past. You could be dealing with the Pisces. We're really heavy on Pisces here. This could be somebody who ghosted you before and now they see you out and about and it's like, whoa. Okay, whoa, wait a minute. Wait now. <laughs> That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting here. Clarify this Three of Pentacles. Yeah. Um, yeah, they see you from in a whole new perspective now, okay? I feel like they're doing a lot of talking to other people about you. Um, yeah. I feel like they're talking to a lot of people about you, about how to approach maybe, how to connect with you, yeah, how to approach you. If you have anybody else around you, you could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I just get the sense that, um, I get the sense that they want to approach you now. Okay, they see you now, out and about. You're outside when this person comes comes towards you. That's all that I know. That's the feeling that I'm getting here. Um, and I feel like it's during the day when they see you out and about. Um, they may even approach you and you're like doing something else, right? Focused on something else. Um, yeah, you kind of have your back turned. Look, you're looking away from this person. Um, yeah, they come towards you here though. With a with the empty cup of love, I feel like you know I'm getting the sense that um, I'm getting the sense that this is somebody who's either sabotaged you in the past or they're working with other people. I don't trust this person. I gotta say, I really don't. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio though. They see you as their match. What is this person planning? I feel like they have some kind of plan how to approach you. If this is somebody from your past, they don't know they don't know what to do. They may bring you a gift. That's who they they could be asking other people about what to get you for a gift. But I'm feeling the sabotage here. I don't like it. Clarify this five of swords. Yeah. Hermit energy, you could be dealing with the Virgo. They're, you know, I, don't, I feel like other people are trying to sabotage this. Um, somebody wants to come towards you. With, yeah, see, like, they don't know, they don't know who to believe. I feel like they're talking to other feminine energies here um, that are giving them advice on what to do and 
and how to talk to you, okay, or something. They gave you, they gave this person some kind of advice. And yeah, they're stressed out about this. They are stressed out. Whatever advice these three feminine energies gave this person, it has them stressed out. They may be telling them to bring you a gift or something like that. I don't know. This person, they want to approach you. Uh, I still feel like they see you out and about or something. They see you. And you it blows their mind altogether. Okay? They're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, they see you in this earth angel. Um, Nine of Pentacles energy. You are You look beautiful okay the the world card the nine of pentacles the angel you look stunning you're healthy you're vibrant you're happy you're happy being single this person may be wondering if you're with anybody else they could be hearing some things from other people about you that's got them stressed out okay because they are talking to they're doing a lot of talking about you to others okay um, maybe friends, exes. I feel like they get some, some ad like feminine advice. Okay. Um, how do I talk to an angel? You know? Yeah, because now they want you back. I, I feel like this person walked away from you before, maybe thinking that you wouldn't accomplish much or thinking that, you know, you weren't flashy enough and you're out here now as a world stunning every, everyone. Um, you're single here, I see, and very loving, very nurturing, very kind, giving person, growing something of your own, extremely abundant. Whatever you're doing, it's very successful. Um, you could be doing something in the public eye as well. Yeah, you're this person's wish fulfillment. What do I do now? That's what they're saying. What do I do now? I walked away from the collective before they take one look at you. Um... I don't know, you're walking around outside or doing something outside and they see it and they're like, holy cow, you've got to be kidding me. I t yeah, they're realizing here that they had a chance with an empress, uh, earth angel, uh, empress in the minor arcana. And this person is like, what? Yeah, they don't know what to do. They're asking advice and I feel like they're the, this feminine energy advice is starting to drive them buggy they they may be hearing too that you've met somebody new they they're um they're wanting to take you out on a date i feel like this person wants to take you out on a date um and that's like with these this fem these feminines are having a good old time trying to tell this person what to do oh you know what you should do you should bring flowers and you should dress up and you should take them on a date you should write them a little love letter you know leave it at their door you should you know they're giving this person all kinds of advice and it's driving them crazy they're so stressed out they're so stressed out. This person could have a dream, a nightmare about this as well. I could see this as a dream, nightmare, okay? Because they said they could have sabotaged this connection or listening to other people could have sabotaged this connection as well. Yo, yeah, well, you're not talking to them. You're not talking to them. Because this person owes you an explanation of why they walked away from you and ghosted you in the past, okay? Yeah, they betrayed a queen of cups, empress in the minor arcana, earth angel. Yep, they stuck a sword in your back collective and uh, you haven't talked to this person since. You're not speaking to them unless they give you an apology and an explanation. They know this. They know it. And this is, I feel like, what's stressing them out. They're, they're having nightmares and dreams about how they treated you in the past, and they want this love. This was a blessing here. They had a chance at an earth angel, and they blew it. They blew it. Okay? Yeah, they're getting, um, they're getting a, a lot of advice from other feminine energies though trying to tell them what to do this could be family members a group of feminines in their family 
Yeah, you're their wish fulfillment. What do they do now? This person is freaking out. What do they do now? Right? They're out in the cold. They put themselves there. They put themselves out in the cold when they betrayed you. They could have said some really harsh things, nasty things to you um, right before they walked out of your life. Yeah. And in order to get you back, they have to confront that. Yep. Oh, boy. You could be dealing with the um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Heavy on Pisces. I feel like you could be moving on, too. You know, um, the world card is forward movement into a new cycle. I just feel like this person sees you out somewhere, and um, uh, it blows their mind completely. They, they, they know, and they, they, they've been hearing things from other people, too, about how... Um, how abundant you are, how successful you are, how intuitive you are. <laughs> this person really screwed up. You're moving forward here. Um, chariot energy. You could be a Cancer. You could be a Virgo. Um, you could be a Sagittarius. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Taurus, maybe. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, heavy on Gemini. All right. Yeah, you're moving on. And you're having a victory. And I feel like you're you're going it alone, though. I, I don't see anyone else around you. I feel like I'm talking to a single person out here. Um, yeah. This this person from your past. Oh man. They're hearing about you moving on. Um, they could be hearing that you're getting new love. Now, look, man, they, now this person wants to commit. They want to commit, and they're freaking out because of how they treated you. See, they betrayed you. They backstabbed you. They sacrificed you. They walked away from you, collective. They ghosted you. They haven't spoken to you since the betrayal. Um, I feel like when they left, they could have said some really harsh, like the way, the things that they said when they left, they wish they could take all of that back. Because I feel like the way that they left your life was ridiculously awful. And they realize that now, now how are they going to get another chance with you now? After everything that they said, they wish they could take back everything that they said. Look, look. Yeah, and that's that's the truth right there. They wish they could take back everything they said because they were harsh, they were cold, they were nasty. Truth. That's what this is. The way they left your life was so awful. And the, sorry about that, you guys. Something went wonky with my camera, so I kind of have to... I don't think I have to double back too much, though. Um, yeah, whatever this person said to you, um, they regret everything, everything. They haven't, but they don't want to confront that part. Like, how do they get past that? You know what I mean? They could have made you feel very used. They could have made you feel very unworthy, okay? They could have made you feel, like, second best. They could have made you... Um, this could have really affected like how you saw yourself maybe for a little while, right? Because you don't see yourself that way anymore. You're, um, you're loving yourself to the point where you're putting yourself on a pedestal, okay? Um, you don't need this person to put you on a pedestal, all right? But um, yeah, I feel like they could have made you feel like maybe some low self-worth for a while or thinking that um, there was some kind of something wrong with you or whatever, you know, this person, the way they, it's almost like they wanted to put everything back on you and have you just take the brunt of the pain and the, and the worries and everything, you know, now it's them in this. See, they had you in this, right? Sleepless nights, thinking about what they said, thinking about what they did, right? Um, now it's them in this. Okay, in this nine of swords energy where they, they can't sleep at night. They're crying themselves to sleep. They're having nightmares about this. They're thinking about the things that they said. 
okay? Because, I, yeah, this person really hurt you. And then they walked out of your life and you haven't heard from them since. You know, so how do they come back in now? Okay, and that's why they're getting the, yeah, how do they do this? How do they get you to calmer waters when clearly the things that they said to you in the past, they can't take back? Oh, they wish they could. Oh, they wish they could. They wish they could have handled things way differently with you than what they did. Because you really are their wish fulfillment. See, now they want this back. Now this person, is they, they want to commit to this. They want to commit. Okay? They breadcrumbed you here. They thought that you didn't have enough or they thought that you weren't good enough somehow. Man, this person really screwed up. If they had the chance to do it all over again, they would do everything differently. Believe me, they wish they could take it all back. I feel like they're, they're watching you. They're studying you. They may want to put in the work here. I've, I just get the feeling like they're seeing this um, over. And they're seeing the Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor, Collective. The one that they put on the back burner, the one that they breadcrumbed, the one that they thought would, wouldn't amount to much. Now the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor and they see that. Um, I can also see that this person wants to put the work in to change what they did before. This is also somebody who's wondering how they're going to turn back time. Okay? I feel like they gave to everyone except for you. You, they were nasty, harsh, and cold and cutting with, and they, they ghosted and betrayed. Yeah, how, do, how are they going to come back from this? How are they going to snap back from this one, right? Yeah, what can I do? This person, they, they want to try to change this. They do. They want, this is wanting to put the work in, right? I feel to make up for everything that they did in the past, okay? However they can. They would do anything, anything to turn this around um, and take back everything that they said and everything that they did. Okay, let's get their emotions on this. How is this person feeling? They, they kind of feel sick over this, I feel. Very discouraged because they don't think they're going to get another chance. They don't think they can they don't think they can come back from what they did. Yeah, and you're leaving the scene. Look, you notice two bikes too. You see that? They didn't know what they were doing, but you did. They don't know what they're doing still, but you do. I feel like you've waited for this person to get their act together long enough too. Um, and you're taking the training wheels off. You've learned your lessons here from the last cycle. And you're moving forward without them. And now, now this person, I feel like they did, they had no forward movement. They dropped the ball on this connection completely. And you, you may have hung back for a while, you know, but you've learned your lessons from this person. And now they're panicking because you're leaving quickly, moving forward quickly, and you're leaving them behind. Okay? You're leaving them behind. So they, you know, I feel like all the, the roles are completely reversed here. Now you may be thinking this person isn't good enough for you because of how they treated you, because they, they haven't come forward to make anything right. You know what I mean? Yeah, look, they're envious. They're, they're, I feel like they're feeling possessive. They're wondering if you have anyone new. Okay, they could be hearing some things from these feminines, you know, like the cancer or the collective's going to get away. You could be a cancer, Pisces, heavy on cancer here. Virgo, heavy Virgo energy as well. Um, and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius for you. But yeah, I feel like this now they're desperate. They don't know what to do. They've done too much. They've done too much, and I feel like this whole situation now has gotten out of control, and now they're realizing that um, 
they don't want you with anyone else look at look at how they're crying same pose and everything different deck curled up in a little ball feeling heartbroken knowing they're suffering a loss so this person knows exactly what they've lost here okay some of them don't even want to get out of bed for real they're desperate they're hanging on to your energy just so you know this person doesn't want to let you go but i feel like you're focused on other things <laughs> and you're moving forward whether they like it or not um yeah they're uh they don't know what to do they don't know what to do to get you back they've done too much and now they're desperate to hang on but they don't know what to do look at them look at them they're falling apart man Give me one more for the collective, how this person feels. They're willing to put in the work to try to fix this, but they don't even know if they're going to get a chance. Yeah, they're angry with themselves because now they're longing for you. They're angry with themselves because now they can't stop thinking about you. They cut you out before, but now they want you back and you're the only one that they want. They're frustrated with themselves. They broke your trust and you're moving forward. Yeah. And you know what? They let this go on for far too long. Okay. And they're realizing that too. Oh my gosh. It's been way too long since I've talked to the collective after I treated them that way. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Desperate to hang on. You, you don't trust this person anymore after what they did. And you're making bold moves and leaps of faith into your future. This is you moving forward quickly with determination and happily, very high vibing. Oh, they're angry with themselves right now, okay? They're angry with themselves that, boy, did they screw up bad. All right, so, and I feel like that's something that these feminines have told them, too. Like, they're in an excited way, though. Like, they're like, if you don't go in there and talk to the collective, right, they're, they're, they're going to get away. Someone else is going to get them. This puts thoughts of fear into this person's head, okay? <laughs> oh, man. They want to apologize, but... I bury myself in work to forget you. Yeah, their work card is out here. They could be um, doing that too. Just kind of trying to um, distract themselves from this. Because they're scared. I wonder if you still think about me. How do you feel about me now that you've had time to reflect, right? How do you feel about me after all of this time? After what I did to you and all this time of making you sit in pain... How do you feel about me now? Yeah, see, I'm telling you, they don't even know if you feel anything for them. My spirit is always with you. Can you feel me? Do you still love me too? Yeah, they're really worried. Um, I see your smiling face in my mind's eye. And, you know, I feel like in, it, with no communication, they don't know what you're doing with, in your life right now. All they know is that you're, you're being very successful, you're independent, and you're glowing and beautiful, okay? Um, that's all that they know. I want you. I want you. I'm feeling lost, and I don't know what to do about it. Do you still love me yet? They have no, they don't know if you feel anything for them anymore. Like, do they approach? Do they, do they come forward? You could reject them. This person doesn't want to be rejected. But look at all that they did to you. See, that's why they're, all they can think about is, man, they're like, why did I do that? Why did I do that? I check on you every chance I get. I, le I regret letting others come in between us. Please come back. I made a mistake. Yeah, I feel bad. How, how I left things between us after all that we've shared. I told you they feel bad about how they left things between you. Okay? How they did it. 
and they know it was a huge mistake treating you that way then is their it's their worst nightmare now okay it is Anyway, Collective, that's what I've got for this quick reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. Um, like and subscribe to this channel if you like this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.